Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Shop Talk, I got this in. So this I thought was pretty cool. This was around 20 bucks. I'll have some links. You can get them in the various different prices, all the way from about $16 to $21. Now, this is the 30... Um, uh, LED unit so it's a little bit bigger there was some 20s down there um, for less money but uh, you know with my older eyes I wanted all I could get now what is this you ask this is a magnetic mounting gooseneck something or another LED light why do I want it well I've been doing a lot of stuff on the lathe lately and one of the things that you know down here in the basement workshop I have a hard time seeing it especially um, more detailed in the parts so I was looking for something that I could mount on top of the lathe that had some direct lighting and had a lot of light and I'm hoping that this is the solution so let's go ahead and uh, take this out of the package it doesn't look like it's too overly bound Okay, so we took it out of the package. It's got a nice, pretty, pretty lengthy cord, about a six foot cord. Yeah, a little, maybe just a tad bit short of six foot. Um, I like the cord, it's very flexible. It's not uh, really a hard plastic, so that's nice. And oh, the other thing it comes with, and I wish it came with more, um, if I move this back over here, is this metal disc. So it's got a 3M pad on the back. I will probably make some more of these really, really thin discs. Um, so it's about a half millimeter with the pad on the back, so very thin. And again, it's got a pretty strong uh, neodymium magnet on the back that latches on to whatever metal. And so if you have a non-metallic surface, you can just take this disc. Now I like this. The mini lathe is metal, so not a big problem, but I want to be able to take this from, you know, device to device, and I might get a couple more depending upon it, but um, I want to go ahead, plug this in, and, woo, ooh, bye, wow, I can't, I can't look at it, it actually hurts my eyes to, to look into it, but, uh, you know, to light up a surface or do some spotlighting, uh, this actually looks like it'll be pretty good. The neck seems to be pretty flexible. I mean, it's reasonably built for 20 bucks. Uh, again, for 20 bucks, you're not going to get the best of the world. But I think it'll last for as long as I need it to last. Um, so, and again, I kind of like this uh, cord uh, because, again, you don't want a real, real stiff cord. Uh, because again, once you plug it in and you try to move things around, then it pulls it off the machine and everything else. Where this cord's got you know some reasonable give to it. So, anyways, uh, kind of wanted to share this with you guys. Oh wow, you can see all the uh, leftover plastic stuff on my surface here. Uh, but anyways, this actually uh, I think is pretty cool. So I'll have the link down uh, below for this. Again, I find this pretty cool. And I'll have some overlays of it on the machine and things like that so you kind of get an idea of it. But I just kind of wanted to do a bit of unboxing just to show you what comes in the box. You can kind of see how bright it is rhetorically from uh, here. You know, what type of cord and all that kind of stuff. So again, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Links for this will be below. Bell button over there. If you got something like this I should know about, let me know in the comments. I love tools, guys. You know that. So hit me up with, uh, if you got something cool or there's a better version, different version that might work better, I'm always open to hearing new things. So anyways, as I already said, bell button over there. So hit it up down below so you're notified. Swag shop up in the corner. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.